you guys? It's Caitlin. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to the shit show. So in today's video, I'm back at it again with another haul video. I do a lot, a lot, a lot of hauls, but you guys are constantly asking where I get my clothes from, so... Uh, might as well always show you, right? So I'm super excited about today's haul because it is from a company that I have never worked with before and never purchased from. Now I'm sure you've already seen the title, but this whole entire haul is all Pretty Little Thing. I've seen their clothes all over Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, like everything, but I've never purchased from there and once they reached out to me and wanted to send me clothes, I was like, bit. So I am very, very, very impressed with Pretty Little Thing and this is the first batch of clothes I've got since I got my breast augmentation. So I'm very excited to show you all these items on but let's just go ahead and jump into the video. So the first thing is actually what I'm wearing and I have worn this five times since I've gotten it. I cannot help myself. Anytime it's sunny, I'm like, oh, this is the perfect outfit. It's literally this blue, long, little beachy shirt. I am ab freaking says of course you can button it down like tuck it in for a different style if you wanted to but I love wearing it with just a plain crop top and shorts and of course you could wear it over a swimsuit as well but I love 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 this shirt I think the blue and the pattern like mix with like the red contrast and it gives such like an eye-catching vibe it, I am obsessed now the next two things let's go ahead and just get these out of the way since they're not clothing pieces I have a really big obsession with sunglasses now if you know me you know that I have like three rules to sunglasses I do not wear them on my face where they're supposed to actually go I wear them to keep my hair out of my face while I drive I wear them for pictures and lastly I wear them in public whenever I want to block out my face because I look like shit but I got these giant sunglasses I think these are so fun I just I love huge things that cover up all this that's what she said <laughs> Now the second and last accessory I got from Pretty Little Thing is just this very simple black fanny pack. No writing or design on it, just plain and black. Has a little zipper in the back and two in the front. These are so good for summer when you go to the beach and you don't want to bring like an actual nice bag with you. You just want to bring your beach bag and like this for your phone and wallet. And there's a lot of concerts coming up, a lot of events in the summertime, so fanny packs are great. The next two shirts are the exact same and they're also a little bit wrinkled from whenever I tried them on and wore them. But it is just this like champagne silky button down top. But I think this is so sick. Not only is it beautiful and really shiny and silky, but there are many different ways that you can wear it. You can button it down a little bit and then like tie the bottom part of it. You can leave it completely unbuttoned with something cute under it. You can wear it buttoned down, tucked into something. You can wear it with a pair of shorts and high boots. Like there's, this is so versatile. And then I just grabbed the same exact thing, but in like a burnt orange. I think these are so, like I said, so sick. They're so classy, but it is literally so simple. You can just throw it on, button it up, and you're good to go. I wore this shirt pretty unbuttoned and low cut, and I thought it looked so so freaking cute and I grabbed both of these in a size small you guys know that I have mentioned a couple of times that companies that ship from like the UK area typically have different sizing so it's important to pay attention to the size chart because two of the items that I grabbed I grabbed the wrong size just because I wasn't aware of the different options so make sure that you pay attention to that when you're shopping while we're on the subject I'm gonna go ahead and get out of the way the two things that don't fit me one of them I did try on because it kind of fits but this this one I did not try on in a clip, but it is just this pair of simple black high-waisted shorts. These are in a US size 6, so these will be going on my Poshmark, be on the lookout for that. These are perfect, super comfy and adorable, they just don't fit me. And the second thing I did try on because like, I can get away with how it fits, it just in my preference it's not tight enough, I should have gone down one or two sizes. This might end up being on my Poshmark, again it is a US size 6, but I am ub for concess with these, I'm really disappointed that they don't fit me, I'm gonna have to reorder and get myself a pair. But it's just this simple pair of white cargo joggers with like pocket details on the side, I think these are so simple so sick again these are one of these outfits that i am obsessed with because they look like you put a lot of effort into it and it's so like edgy and not really edgy but like grungy and like 
don't know. It just has a certain vibe to it, but it's literally just a pair of cargo pants, you know? So, love those. Be on the lookout for that on my Poshmark. The next two pairs of bottoms somehow fit me, but they're also a US size 6. I don't really know what happened there. But it is just a super cute striped pair of joggers. I think these are adorable, especially for fall time. I mean, you can rock them in the summer, but they're more like fall colors. You can see they're maroon, black, white, and blue. I think these are so freaking cute. With a pair of sneakers and like a little tube top. Yes. I love, love, love. Now the last pair of bottoms that I grabbed is just a very basic black asymmetrical skirt. Again, definitely a staple in everyone's wardrobe. I just haven't really found the perfect skirt that like hugs me well, cinches my waist, and this one definitely does that. So I am finally excited to have a plain black skirt. It's so crazy how the simplest items are sometimes the hardest to find. Like I have literally been on the search for the perfect pair of jeans for 21 years, just about. This next piece I'm gonna go ahead and show you because it's so different from the others and I literally, I cannot get over this find. I'm sure you've seen something like this before but I personally, this is my first time seeing it and I love the block, like one color and then a pattern on this. I think that is so freaking cute. Again, this is gonna be more of a fall time piece, but I think it is adorable. This is in a size small and it still fits a little bit oversized. You'll be able to see in the try and clip what I mean. So if you want it to be a little bit bigger, I would go with a medium. But I think this is so freaking cute. It's definitely different from what I usually pick out, which is very exciting for me, but can't wait to wear that. Now the last basic item from Pretty Little Thing is this little sports bra. Why did I show it to you upside down? This little nude sports bra with the Pretty Little Thing logo all around the band. I think this would be so cute with a pair of leggings to go out in. Not go out, but like walk around the town. And also to work out in. I wore this to go back to the gym for the first time since my surgery and it honestly supported me pretty well. I did not try high intensity workout with it, but for what I did it was awesome. But honestly, I think I'm gonna utilize this more with leggings or jeans just to go out and like I don't know you know how girls wear sports bras with their outfit I haven't yet to do that but I feel like I'm gonna step out of my comfort zone and do it but like you wear a sports bra with a uh, pants and then you go out and you're not working out you're just wearing a sports bra to go out in the town do you get what I'm saying <laughs> this next piece is actually super elegant yet very simple I, I that's like my whole wardrobe very simple yet sometimes elegant. But the piece that I'm talking about is just a black wraparound dress. Whenever I tell you that this dress makes me feel like I am five times prettier, I don't know what it is. Like the way that this dress cinches your waist, even if you are shit up and down and you think that it will never happen for you, honey, put this dress on and you will have the perfect hourglass figure. The style of this dress and the way it wraps around you is so beautiful and they have a couple of different colors. I mistakenly only grabbed a black but I have to go back for more. Mine is in a size US 4 and it is in a UK size 8 for anyone wondering that is the same size as me. But I think I know you can't really tell on camera but you'll be able to see in the try on clip. This is beautiful and I can't wait to wear this out. I think it'd be so pretty with like of course some jewelry and like a staple color heel you know. Wait, wait. This next top, I don't have anything really like it, yet it is, again, simple. I say that a lot in this video, and I don't mean that in, like, a negative connotation. I just mean, like, simple yet elegant. Like, you don't have to be extravagant to look cute, you know? Like, these clothes are so affordable, but they're also so cute, right? Anyways, this top is just a black, uh, what's the word? Like, it has the coarse, not corset, but, like, corset style, um, buckle up right here and then it's kind of like a bra like lace up one of those um like one of these things it's like this but in top form yeah are we catching it now i'm sure you guys are like uh yeah bitch we got it you're the only one that wasn't getting it but i think this is so pretty on the back you can really see the lace detail it's just gorgeous and i love how the lace hangs down in the front it's not just like a straight cut off crop top so that's really cute the next top again is just a little white top i think this one is so are you adorable it has little fringes and i feel like when i wear this i'm just gonna be twirling all night because it's so fun but this top and the last top i just showed you both have adjustable straps in the back which i am so happy about a lot of crop tops and bodysuits from these instagram companies don't usually have ways that you can adjust them to your body i think 
if I am correct, I'm not gonna come out there like cut at another brand, but if I'm correct, I feel like Pretty Little Thing is the only brand that I've seen that really does that question mark. I don't wanna be wrong, but if I remember right, I'm pretty sure most of my crop tops you can't adjust. So I love that little option, so cute. And the last thing that I have to show you from Pretty Little Thing is the red bodysuit that I just picked up a second ago. I think these are so adorable. I have a black, a white, a red, like I have a couple of colors now. And I think these are so cute to layer with a blazer and like dress up or like look like, kind of like sexy and like grungy, I don't know. There's a couple things you can do with this. It provides a lot of different looks, but I love these. The lace detail on this one is very intricate. Again, pretty little thing with the detail going over your boob. It doesn't just stop right at your boob. There's lace that goes over it, if you can see what I'm talking about. So I love that. I think Pretty Little Thing has a lot more detail in their clothes than a couple of other brands do. Again, no tea, no shade, just kind of giving my first opinion on the whole thing. Like I said, I've never purchased from Pretty Little Thing. This is my first time and I am thoroughly impressed. I'll be sure to leave links down in the description for Pretty Little Thing so you can go shop but that is it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to give it a giant thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're not subscribed already. Be sure to go follow me on all my socials down in the description. My Poshmark closet is on there. My playlist is on there. My P.O. box is on there. Literally everything that you ever need to know about me is down below. But I love you guys so much, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Blah, blah, blah.